value scale in observational drawings and paintings. How do we give form to shape? How do we draw what we see, not what we think we see? These are examples of works from previous years in charcoals and ink wash in the studio art class at Falmouth High School. So, how can you create a value study? at your house. First you're going to select an object in your yard or in your house. Find something that's got an interesting shape to it, something that draws you in, not something too easy, please, but something that's got good shadows, some good details, something that you want to stare at for a while. Set your light source either using the sun be careful of where the light is coming from. Try and light from the side if you can. Before you start, check the angles. Check um, the lines and the directions and the proportions using your pencil or your pen or whatever you have and carrying that back to the paper. You're going to be responsible for the light, the midtone, the shadow, cast shadow, and the reflected light, that's the light that bounces back up onto your object. Now how are we going to make art at home when we don't necessarily have the materials that we have in the classroom, like the inks and the charcoals? Well there's lots of things that you have around your house that you can use. Hopefully you at least have paper of some sort, hopefully it's not lined paper. So first demo I'm going to do is painting with coffee. I use used coffee grounds and put them into an egg container or you can just use dishes and I mix it with water and then I'm going to do some testers trying to see what tones I have with the different intensities of coffee. If you don't have a paintbrush you can use a q-tip, um, you can use string or whatever you can come up with to, to paint. The first step is to block in your basic shapes and your lines and then you're going to just double check your lines. Keep, remember to keep looking back at your object. And you're going to block in the basic tones and the basic shapes using the coffee. You're going to build up in layers. Always build in layers. Paint texturally and keep looking at your object. It does help to squint, like an old lady, which is me. So lean in and squinting, that'll help you see the contrast in your object. So that was painting with coffee. Now we're going to move on to drawing with charcoal. If you have a fire pit in your yard, grab a piece of charcoal. That's all it is. Burnt stick. Paper bag makes excellent toned paper. Cut it up, flatten it out as best you can, and once again you're going to work out the basic shapes to start. Check your angles, draw texturally, keep looking at your object, that is so key because the way that drawings go horribly wrong is when you stop looking at your object. Blend with your fingers if you want to, experiment with your textures, draw with intention. really stare at your object. And the last demo we're going to have is just a regular old pencil. So, for the last time with a garden frog, we'll just start by blocking it in. I'm drawing texturally, checking my angles, blocking in the tones, It's always good to stand back sometimes, get away from your work, so put it away from you. Shade with hatching and cross hatching. Build up the layers and the textures. Check your angles. Always double check. Make sure things line up where they're supposed to. Build up your tones and your layers, hatching and cross hatching. Don't forget that your eraser is a drawing tool.
And finally, when you do your cast shadow, it helps to go horizontally against your object. That helps to ground it on the paper surface, perpendicular to the object. And that's it. Value studies in pencil, coffee, and fire pit charcoal.